How to cook beef katogo? It is a combination of matoke or bananas and Irish uh, with, with beef. This is the best way of cooking Uganda and katogo. It can be served on breakfast. For the new viewers, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get the recipe updates via my YouTube channel. And don't forget to also share with your friend so that you can also share a skill with a friend. We are going to get our saucepan. In our saucepan, we are going to apply water and salt. After applying water, we are going to apply our chopped meat or our chopped beef. You can also use, use goat's meat. Then we are going to have cooked matoke and Irish. You ap apply their water, but don't put salt. Then after, we are going to get a, a saucepan or a pan. You apply oil. You cook the onions. After cooking the onions, we are going to apply tomatoes. After after cooking tomatoes, sprinkle with some sauce so that it can get soft very fast. You can cover and you, you can also take your time. So make sure that the tomatoes are soft. Make sure that the tomatoes are that soft. Then our, our beef is done to be half cooked. Then we are going to get our beef. But before applying the beef, you're going to apply some garlic here. If you also love ginger, you can also apply ginger. So we're going to apply our beef, the half-cooked beef here in the mixture. You cook. You do what I'm doing. The way you see it is the way you can also do it. Apply some green pepper chopped. Apply carrots, also chopped carrots or diamond style. Then you also cook for some time. But make sure that you take your time. Apply spring, spring onions. Apply spring onions, apply fresh coriander, then apply reiko and turmeric. We apply reiko for taste and apply turmeric for color. Then you are going to apply some tomato paste. Tomato paste is going to work like a thickening agent. Then after applying tomato paste, you take your time. You take your time. You can also apply some little water. You can also apply some little what? Some little water. So we are going to apply the beef stock instead of water. You replace the beef stock. The beef stock is the water you use to cook the beef. Then you're going to get our grains, apply some salt and, and some water, then cook. Then our matoke is half cooked. We have cooked matoke and Irish, no salt. So we're going to remove all the excess water. Then after removing all the excess water, we are going to pour in or to apply in the beef mixture. We are going to apply in the beef mixture. You have to make sure that the matoke is half cooked because we don't need our matoke to become hard. If you put if you put this mixture when the matoke is still hard, trust me, you're going to produce out a hard matoke or a hard katogo. Then if our greens are ready, if our greens are ready, we are going to remove them. We are trying to make boil. And for the matoke, make sure that you reduce the heat. After putting the beef mixture, Make sure that you reduce the heat because we don't need our, 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 our matoke to become, to dry so hard. Sorry, to dry, the soup to dry. So reduce the heat and it's good to go. Just look at that. Remember, this is Jeff Joshua Msisis. For the new viewers, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get weekly daily recipes. You can try this recipe, trust me. You will not regret. You can try it for breakfast. You can try it for lunch. You can try it in your business. You can try it for supper. You can try it anytime you feel like. And don't forget to share.